Hey, it's me, Matt Parker. Welcome to my second channel over on my main Stand Up Mass channel. I've recently uploaded some videos that I made with Chris Hatfield, all about equations and going into space. However, in this one, I did some mathematical working out while Chris was talking about the experience of being launched on a rocket and apparently having an actual astronaut telling an engaging story about the process of human space flight. Some people found that distracting and they couldn't focus on the equally important mathematical derivation that I was doing. So I've re-uploaded just this section to my second channel with only the audio of me doing the maths so you can follow along in its full glorious detail. The momentum before was m times v that's the definition of momentum and over here afterwards i've got the momentum of this bit which is dm outside of v minus the velocity of the exhaust plus the momentum of this bit which is uh, m now I'm missing dm times oh v plus uh, dv we have to expand out all these brackets so that's still mv on that side uh, dmv minus dmve plus uh, mv plus mdv minus dmv minus dm. Ah, I can barely get the final minus dmdv in, but to be honest, that's a tiny change times a tiny change. and. We don't, we don't need that at all, so I'm going to cross that out completely. I know I've been told I integrate like a physicist, but that's fine. Okay, now that can go because it equals that on both sides. We're adding DMV, we're subtracting DMV. A lot of people would like to subtract the DMV and leaves us with these. So what have we got there? The mass times DV equals the velocity of the exhaust times dm. I'm going to get all the m's on one side, so now we've just got dv on this side equals ve times 1 over mass times dm. And now we integrate. So if we integrate both sides, uh, that's a constant so I can integrate there. We want to integrate from launch until we're at our final velocity. So our initial uh, v0 is 0, and you end up at some v final. You've then got M0 when you launch, and you've got M final once you're in orbit. Okay, that's not so bad. So what I'm going to do now is integrate that onto the next sheet. So D, oh, that's just V. Oh, that's easy. So that's just V, and that is from V0 is 0 to V final. And that's 1 over, oh, okay. So if you integrate 1 over m, you get the natural log of m. So that's still out the front. Here's our brackets. Natural log of m, and that is from m0 to m final. Uh, we put that in. Well, that's just vf because this is 0, so that's v final equals. Now we put, oh, okay, I'm not going to do log laws here, but the natural log of mf subtract the natural log of m0, that is just the natural log, oh, that's an n, of mf on m0. So if you're not familiar with the log laws, you can look that back up again. That is still a constant, put that down the front there. Natural log means that, if actually if I move this over here, natural log means that e to the power of this, so that means m final divided by m0 equals e to the power of V final divided by V E. And that is your rocket equation, which will tell you for whatever velocity you can spit your exhaust out at, and whatever velocity you want to finally be traveling, this is the ratio of final payload to the total amount of mass that you originally started with before you launched. Thank you very much for everyone who decided to watch the mathematics on this side. I'm going to um, head over there and join um, Chris, who's probably probably wrapping up as we speak. Okay, from here in, we work together as a team, completely focused 
on the math. So I'll have a link in the description which will drop you back into the original video at exactly this point so you can pick it up. Oh hey, oh look at that, there's a link on the screen right now. Or you can click that and go enjoy more Maths in Space.